Uh, fat transfer is a really exciting new tool that we now have that um, can add to a breast augmentation. I don't think it necessarily replaces breast implants altogether, but it can do in certain very select cases. But actually, in the main, it's really good for an adjunctive uh, procedure. So in addition to having implants put in, if there's a big gap between the breasts, it can be used to build up um, uh, that gap and give a better shaped breast. Uh, what is fat transfer to the breasts? Well, that's where basically we take uh, fat from another part of the body where you don't want it particularly uh, using liposuction. Um, but what we do is instead of discarding it, we process it in a way such that we're now left with the best fat cells and then inject those in small volumes bit by bit by bit very carefully to build up the area of the breast that we want to where we want to enhance the shape and the typical area is the cleavage area where if implants have been put in and they are sitting apart because of the natural shape of the breasts and the position of the breast being apart we can then enhance the cleavage area by adding a bit of fat into the middle to just give you a better um, inside cleavage decolletage area um, just to make the shape that much better. There's been a lot of talk of it replacing implants and this is the way forward. I really don't think that's going to happen. I think fat transfer when it's been done to replace implants has actually not worked very well because you need very large volumes of fat. So number one you need very large volumes of fat to give from other areas which quite often when we're with not very much breast tissue don't have. Number two, if you were to inject large volumes of, um, of fat into the breasts, it can cause problems. Survival of that fat is less. Problems because of what we call fat necrosis and lumps developing can be higher. So personally, I don't like doing fat transfer as a pure alternative to breast implants. I prefer doing it as an adjunct in addition to breast implants.